All right. Um, today we will be porting a Bepinex mod for Chronark into the Chronark workshop. So I have here um, a very old mod I made in Bepinex. So first of all, you want to open Steam Workshop Uploader. Um, I have it um, right here, uh, uploaded on the drive, so I'll share the link. Um, so we want to create a new item. Uh, it's a uh, remove its limit. And... Um, just fill in this real quick. Alright. And then I have a template here, so you just copy and paste this uh, into... Um, so Steam Workshop Uploader Workshop Content, and you should be able to find your mod here. Just copy and paste this thing. Uh, and then you can uh, fill in uh, these details. I just changed the names and stuff. Uh, um, this mod actually doesn't use any uh, config settings, but I will just include one to show you how to do it. Then once you're done editing, just save that. And... Uh, and then for the preview image, you want to uh, type the mod name and then the image name. It should load it. Uh, and then submit. Alright. And then if you go to your own workshop page, it should be uploaded here. Um, make sure to copy this uh, ID and just change it, uh, otherwise your mod may not load properly in-game, so make sure to do this. Uh. Okay, now let's try uh, changing the code. Um. I have a Visual Studio project here, I'll just uh, copy and paste this. And I load. Um, I actually have a code template I made a while ago I'm sorry hold on let me find it it's this one yeah um, I will also post this on the Google Drive I'll put it here right now Uh, let's just copy and paste this thing. Um, and I am using an outdated version of a lot of stuff, so... Um, I'll remove all of my references, because they're outdated, and I will add stuff back. Um, this is in Chrono Arc folder. You wanna add the assembly C sharp and that'll load Chrono Arc mod. And you want to load uh, Harmony. Alright. And let's change this real quick. Um, I don't think. This does much besides uh, it displays the name differently in the debug console. You can change it if you want. Um, 
and then uh, after this function you can uh, add the original code So this is a really short mod, <laughs> I guess. Um, let's add all these references. Um, and then pretty sure yeah this should be outdated too um for this i want to uh hold on let me pull up expert plus Let's, uh, I'll paste this a bit later. Um, this is the Steam Workshop uh, directory. Oh, I've subscribed to this. And then once I go in-game, it'll uh, create this thing. Um, and then... I want to build this, uh, DLL file into uh, the workshop assemblies. So this and let's build. And it built it successfully. And let's uh, re upload. Right, you can't uh, run Steam Workshop Uploader and Chrono Arc at the same time, so exit that Steam Workshop. Um, this code is so outdated, I don't know if it even works anymore. <laughs> Let's see. Double check if I have light. Yep. This should remove the cannot be fixed from every skill. Pain has a lot of... Okay, <laughs> this thing. <laughs> oh, right, right. So, uh... Um, I haven't changed this at all yet. So, <laughs> um... This is probably causing the issue. Um, and since... Uh, we've initialized the mod within the game. Um, we can go into the workshop folder, just uh, see this. And uh, now we can add the post event build command line, or whatever it's called.
here. So, um, what this did will is uh, you don't need to copy your files from the workshop to the um, to the uh, Steam folder repeatedly if you just want to quickly test stuff uh, instead of having to you know upload the mod then uh, update in game and then all that junk so uh, this lets you skip uploading having to upload every time so it's uh, really neat uh, let's see if my changes are applied now No error. Okay, um, you can see that the fixed limit has been removed from every skill. Uh, so the mod is working. And hello. Um, now for the last part, uh, let's go over how to use mod configs. Um, I actually decided to add another config just to show you the different styles of how to do it. Um, so this one's a toggle setting, you turn it on or off and this is an input field setting so you can uh, type uh, a specific you know, number. Um, so I up updated the uh, mod description uh, JSON file too. So, um, I'll just upload the new versions on the drive, so don't worry about it. Uh, and then now that we've uh, added these two config values, let's try actually using them. Um, so... Sample pool... And maybe since I have a pool and an int, I'll uh, make the skill cost uh, equal to the int value um, if the bull is on so let's just build that Oh, oops, um, I need to uh, copy the <laughs> JSON file uh, from the workshop folder to the Steam folder uh, because I added a, another mod setting entry. So, um, Make a shortcut for this uh, mod folder. It'll be much easier for. Uh, so I just. Oh, come on. Oh, huh. there was no comma here. <laughs> I wonder if that makes a difference. All right. Anyway. Um. Now it should work. Uh, and then you can see there's a toggle and a input field, so I'll just try making this a 5 or something. Double check. <laughs> well, uh, uh, 
maybe you need to restart for that to apply. Um, I mean, the, init the initial value is 1. Okay, that works. Um, anyway, that's how you use a mod config settings, and uh, hopefully this lets you port your Bepinex mod to the workshop. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.